All right, gonna put it here. And off you go. Everybody seems to have seen one. But the one that catches your attention in Sturgeon Bay is owned by Russ Sealer. There's probably, oh, 10 or 15 of them in the state. It's just something really unique that came out of the 60s. It is an amphicar, part boat, part car, 50-50 surf and turf. The German background is pretty cool because I'm into World War II vehicles. The developer of a, of a German Schwimmwagen in World War II, after the war, he developed this car. But it was still the price of a Corvette. I believe they're right around $2,300. If you had a choice back in the 60s to have one of these or a Corvette, I think you would have picked a Corvette. Well, there's four colors. There's green, blue, white, and red. And uh, when I first got this car, and I thought, there's no way I'm keeping it that color. But trends change. I love that color. Of all the colors, it's, it's the neatest color. People will buy them just in terrible shape and get them back going because they just love them. For Russ, it was love at first sight. This car was in Door County. Uh, it was about five miles from my home. A buddy of mine and I were looking at it, and we sat in it, and I thought, whoa, wouldn't this be cool? I was 16 years old. So I kind of forgot about it for about 10 years. Well, then I actually had a dream about it. And I thought, I wonder if it's still there. Sure enough, there it was. It was sitting in the same spot. So during the winters, I started putting it back together, and every year I do a little bit. W one thing I did learn with the Amphicar is that if you don't give up, you'll get it done. Because when I got that Amphicar, I mean, it was in 84. I didn't get it done until 98. Every time I go in, you just get the heebie-jeebies a little bit. You wonder, you know, if everything's going to be okay. I was pretty cocky at first, and I liked to power into the wakes and make a big splash. Well, one rolled, it rolled up right over the hood and right over the top of the windshield, and it was like two five-gallon pails of smelly bay water in our laps. And it's all vinyl seats and rubber floor mat, and it just trickles on the build. And one time, the electrical system quit on me after we came out of the water. Being that it has the original wiring you know, from 1963, there's always that in the back of your mind. Almost every time when we pull out, there's um, a few people that ask me, did you just come out of the water? You know, they don't know what to say. It, it, it's, it's hilarious. The Amphicar isn't really built for speed. It's built for fun. All right, there we go. Well, it's a 1963 Amphicar. It's a slow moving car uh, in the water and it's, an awkward car on land. The model is 770, meaning seven in the water and 70 on land. I've had it up to maybe 60 on land, and it's pretty hairy. It's not a safe feeling. It's got a peppy engine. First couple of gears, you really get, get going, and then it's pretty slow. It's only 43 horsepower. Put the lever and forward, and off you go. Cruising around the Sturgeon Bay Ship Canal, the Amphicar is dwarfed by those big boats. I, I wouldn't trade. I would not trade. <laughs> and maybe it's the small size that attracts all the attention. I'm glad I haven't caused any accidents because I, you know, sometimes when I go under the bridges, there are people rubbernecking, looking, looking down. Oh, the best thing is you can they come home from work and have your wife say, it's pretty nice and calm out tonight, isn't it? And that just means let's go for an Amphicar ride. So we'll just jump in the car, five minutes to the boat ramp, and we're, we're in the water, maybe a nice sunset cruise. But it is a special feeling when you've rebuilt it yourself. It's got nothing but good memories. <laughs> 